All right, this is a uh, quick tutorial on how to do custom fonts when you're doing a presentation in Google Slides. So we have set up a sample presentation on ancient Egypt, and we've used this theme over here, a simple dark, which is basically black background, white text and images. And in the theme of uh, simple dark, it uses the font of Arial. Arial is a great font, but not real creative. And obviously it's the default font. So anybody who uses this theme will find that one. So what we've done is gone over to Google Fonts, fonts.google.com, and you can scroll through and view uh, just so many different fonts in here. And we found three that we like. Remember, a rule of thumb with fonts in a presentation is to use no more than three. And so then once you're in Google Slides, click on here and choose more fonts. And the one I really liked to use for my title, it has bubblegum in it. There it is, Bubblegum Sans. You click it, and now adds it over here to your list of my fonts. Click OK, and now your title font is sent. And that's actually gonna be the main font we're gonna use on our presentation. We're gonna describe a, a little bit more about it and use that same font, so we'll go in here and change that. This slide's gonna use it as well. So again, we just click on the text box where you get those crosshairs, so that it selects the whole box. Go up here, click this drop-down arrow, and we're choosing that from our recent list, which makes it really easy to find. Doing that same for each of these slides, as long as we want to keep that the font that we're using. And setting these all up as bubblegum for our font. But then there's also some slides we want to change it up. This one, we use, we want to use two different fonts. So this little one, I like to be more of a handwritten font. I saw one that had Patrick in the name. So I'm going to go more fonts and type in the search bar Patrick. And there it is. Patrick Hand was the one I liked. Now it adds it over here to my fonts. When I go back in, that box has changed. For now, River, I found one that had a nice, clean, bold look. Go into more fonts, and it started off with STAA. There it is. Click OK. Do the same for River so that it matches. Under recent, change it. Now on this slide, I think I want to go back for this great pyramid slot, uh, text box and use the bubble gum. But then down here, I'll use that same one I used for the Nile River, that nice, bold, and clean-looking one. And then for our last slide, again, we'll bring it back to Bumblegum. So now as we go through here, each of our slides have been changed and have that new custom font, and it's all ready to go. And that is how you change your fonts and customize them in Google Slides.